As the weather starts to warm up, we're gonna wanna get out in the yard and get some stuff done. One of those things this year I'm gonna do is a humic acid treatment. So today I'm gonna to get started with making my concentrate so it's all ready for the first application. From everything I've read about humic acid, it seems to do a lot of good things and no bad things. Keep in mind that you're gonna treat humic acid like a soil conditioner. And as I've said before, we have over 70,000 square feet of just lawn space and we don't have it irrigated. So if there's anything at all that I can do to help mother nature water the grass, I am going to. Or if I can use my sprinkler system and have that water go a little bit further, I'm gonna take advantage of it. Let's dig into it. I picked up this humic acid concentrate mix and the bag was about 25 bucks. I'm going to be mixing one cup of mix into one gallon of water. I'm going to be using a pan with a little bit of water in the bottom. Then add my mixture in slowly. It is a very fine powder, so go slow, otherwise you're gonna end up getting it blown everywhere. I'm gonna add in the rest of the gallon of water. And then you wanna make sure that you get it all nice and mixed in. I'm going to be storing it in this gallon water jug. And that's it. The concentrate mix can sit in this jug now for up to one year. Now your application rates are going to vary and you should make up your own recipe. I'm going to be doing one ounce of concentrate per one gallon of water. I'm lucky enough to have a 30 gallon pull behind sprayer that I'm going to make up in batches of 20 gallons because I don't want the tank to get too full. I want to have some room that it can slosh around. And at 20 ounces per application, which is going to be monthly, this one gallon jug should last me six applications or possibly all summer long. So we'll see how it goes. Since humic acid is one of those things from everything that I've ended up reading about it, you can't put down too much of it other than wasting the product. So I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna put it down monthly so I can make sure that I'm getting my soil in the best possible condition that it can be. So that when we do actually get some rain throughout the year, it can be retained in that soil. Thanks for sticking with me. I'll catch you in the next one.